Well, welcome to another episode of We Screwed Up So You Don't Have To. <laughs> Got a nice ring to it. I like it. <laughs> we do a lot of these videos where we screw something up really, really bad and we share it with you so you don't have to go through the same pain that we're about to go through. Yeah, you're and welcome. <laughs> this time it's a doozy. This was a big one. Yeah, if you saw our maintenance video a couple weeks ago, you saw that we redid some of the seals on our slides. You're supposed to inspect these once every six months or so, which I do. Yeah. But I'm not a professional RV tech guy or maintenance we, person so i don't really know what i'm looking for we're looking with the naked eye yeah. like glancing over the lay person if you will yeah <laughs> so what i didn't know is that even though your sealant could look completely intact it could be separating from the wall of your rv and moisture can be getting in behind it yes so i was just looking all the sealants intact and i'm like I'm good, good to, go. to go but then i started noticing something on this bedroom slide right here yeah we started noticing the Schwintec teeth started having Shaving. little issues. Yeah. Underneath, we started seeing some rusty nails. Yeah. Or screws. The screws that go in are starting to rust. So that's never good. Rust means water's in there. Yeah. And at first, because there's another part where the wood is exposed, yeah. because the roller has started digging into the wood and yeah. the underbelly of the slide so I thought that that roller mechanism had dug into the wood and exposed it and moisture had gotten in through there well the bolts of the roller not the roller yeah. itself the bolts but it turns out some of the sealant was starting to separate from the wall of the RV and moisture was getting in there and it was running down the inside of the slide yeah and pooling in there soaking into the wood starting to rot it out and then the slide started to sag mm -hmm. so as the slide as the slide started to sag those rollers started digging into that wood and yeah. kind of ripping that underbelly open and exposing the wood, yeah. causing the screws to rust. And because the slide is sagging, it didn't line up the Schwintec mechanisms the way that it's supposed to, and those teeth started shearing themselves off. Yes. But it's a good thing that we noticed it when we did because eventually this would have ended in a failure. Either yeah. it would have ended in the Schwintec system failing or it would have ended up with us <laughs> down here on the ground <laughs> <laughs> falling yeah. through the bottom of the rv slide so we have to get it fixed yeah we're gonna have to have the whole bottom floor of this bedroom slide replaced yeah well and you, it taught us now that we can't just look at the sealant and say it looks good we actually have to feel it touch yeah. it move, see if it moves and it's always good to go out right after a fresh rain yes and and this happened in florida where we're getting tons of rain like every other day so even if your sealant looks intact, after the rain, just go and like start pushing on the sealant right there. And if you see water squirt back out from behind the sealant, it's getting in yeah. and it's gonna eventually cause damage. You're gonna end up in the same situation that we are. So yeah. over the next couple of days, we'll take you along with us on this painful journey. I think the most painful of it all for me is the fact that they said they are absolutely not going to plug our RV in while they have it. Therefore, everything in our fridge and freezer is going to be a loss. We have to empty it out before we go, which means yeah. we got to buy all that stuff all over again. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. One of the first things you're always going to want to do when you get your new RV mm -hmm. is change out the mattress. Absolutely. Because the mattresses that come in these things, <laughs> it's like sleeping on plywood, yes. honestly. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Aurora Lux. Yes in the soft oh yeah in the rv king <laughs> and it regulates our body temperature it has like science going on in there that keeps yeah. you at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature but if that's not for you they have a bunch of different styles a bunch of different firmnesses yes and they're custom made for rvs yeah so they will fit in rvs exactly. unlike some regular mattresses that you'll find in the store they also come with a 120 night sleep trial a 10 year warranty and free shipping directly from the factory in Arizona. They don't just have mattresses. No. They have accessories. I love accessories. We have the pillows, the sheets. Um, our daughter has one of their weighted, weighted blankets. blankets. They yeah. also have mattress protectors and all kinds of other accessories. Hey, check this out. This is the most coolest part. 
We can save you 25% mm -hmm. on your next RV mattress with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. All you gotta do is pop over to the link in the description of the video and use the promo code WAGS and save 25% at checkout. When we move this morning, tomorrow morning, we take the RV to go and get the bedroom slide fixed. This is our spot. We stayed hooked up because there's no real need. We're just staying overnight and it's pretty level. So a lot of spots, if they're not level, we will unhook so that the RV's leveled. But since it's pretty level, we just stay hooked up. It's easier to tomorrow morning. All we got to do is just unhook the power cable and the water and roll out. And even though we're only staying overnight, Scout has to come out and get his sunshine today. Not ideal to pay $45 a night to stay overnight. No. But worth it to miss the traffic tomorrow morning. Yes. That would suck. We could have stayed at Thousand Trails and stayed for free, but 45 bucks to miss all the traffic, I think it's worth it. Yes. But since we got the discount, and we got to get up early, and we got to fight traffic, yeah. Hashtag worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scout's all pissed off now. He has turned black beard and he is now bobbing at traffic. Okay. All right, let me show you what we got to do this morning. We have to get everything out from under the bed. Let's go around and take a look. Okay. That's quite a bit of stuff. It's not terrible. And that stuff's going in the shower? Yes. All right. <laughs> well, what can fit in the shower is going in the shower. All right, we got everything out from under the bed. Wasn't as painful as I thought. Let me put this down. And let's go see what Leslie's done with her pack job in the shower. Oh, okay. <laughs> not too shabby. Yeah. And we're only going a mile down the road, so I don't think anything will bump out of there. But if it does, it ain't really going anywhere. No, it'll just so. slide out to here. All right, cool. Plus, we got to move the pantry baskets into here, too. Okay. As much as we can, whatever can't fit in here, we'll have to go out on the All right. living room. Next, we got to tackle this. Well, it's pantry for us. It's a wardrobe, but it's a pantry for us. And uh, so that's where we keep all of our food. And our stuff and so we're gonna move all this well some of it into the bathroom mm -hmm. and then whatever's left over we will move into the living room between where the slides next to the island where the, between where the slides come in yeah all right let's do it okay all right the wardrobe slash pantry is empty did a good job i did a good job all right let's see <laughs> There it is. Most of the stuff from the under the bed is in the shower, and the most of the stuff from the pantry is in the bathroom. And how is it staying in there, you ask? Well, Leslie put some tension rods that we normally use for the refrigerator here at the door, just in case it does shift. It'll be, no. it'll be just another barrier. I mean, it might blow through there, but at least we gave it a try. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I think it was, it's not as bad as I thought, huh? No. No, it's bad. I thought we were gonna have to put some stuff out here, but yeah, it looks like everything's gonna fit in the bathroom, and they're not gonna be working in there anyway, so it's not that big a deal. No. Well, we dropped the RV off. Yep. It's supposed to be done. I don't know when. They said maybe tomorrow. Is that what they said? Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. It better be tomorrow. Yeah. Well, the problem was I told them that the guy I originally talked to said we'd have it back in a day. Yeah. And they're like, uh, they looked at me like I was crazy. Mm. They're like, who'd you talk to? And I said, I don't know. And dude said it'd be eight hours of labor and we'd have it back. Same day, if not. Same day or morning. the next day. And he goes, oh, you must talk to Pete. <laughs> Is Pete notorious for doing that? I guess. <laughs> so if we don't get it back tomorrow, Pete got us. <laughs> but as we were leaving, they're pulling it into the bay. They should be able to do so it. So they should be able to. And it is only, it's only eight hours authorized of, of labor. Yeah. So they're only going to get paid eight hours of labor. So they're going to want to get it done. Yeah. And get paid. And get it out of there. And get it out of there. Uh, so then it goes in. Yeah. But we're at uh, Leslie's sister's house. Mm -hmm. uh, staying at least tonight. Yes. <laughs> and got a scout outside. And dude's a swimmer. He is. He wants to go back. He got a taste of the lake. 
and got a taste of the swimming pool. He's trying to get to it right now. He, yeah, he Look wants to jump it. in. He wants to go swimming. <laughs> well, it didn't go as planned. Does it ever? I I think they did a good job on the slide. I don't know. I really haven't looked at it too closely. We didn't have time. Well, it closed properly. It closed and opened properly. It was properly. flush again. Yeah. So there was no gap. They didn't do a good job at communicating. They told us that yesterday, at the end of the day, they would call us and give us an update and didn't. give us an idea of what time it would be to pick up the rig today. They didn't do that. No. I called them first thing in the morning and they're like, I still don't know. It, well, and they said, it's halfway done. Yeah. But I'm like, well, you started it at the beginning of the day yesterday and now it's halfway yeah. done. They didn't start at the beginning. Yet. So they said it'll be between three and five. The problem is we're an hour and a half away. Yeah. So I'm like, well, I need to know around three so I can start heading that way because traffic's gonna start building up to Orlando. Yeah. And so she's like, all right, cool. It was about 2.50 you decided yeah. to call. I called and she's like, oh yeah, it's ready. I was just waiting for the uh, silicone to dry and uh, by the time you get here, it should be good. I'm like, why didn't you call oh, me? Say it's we just siliconed it. So curing. because of traffic, we got there and it was like 10 minutes till they closed. It was, it was like 20, but yeah. Still. So we had to open up the slide and get all the stuff out of the bathroom. Quick put it in the pantry and quick put it under the bed. And we opened the bed and then... That was m my breaking point. I lift the bed up and the freaking strut, strut completely fall just off. Just fall apart. <laughs> So when they were taking the slide out, something happened. They did something. So we're gonna have to fix that. Yeah. We had to completely take the struts out, and then we had to they were dangling. prop the thing up with the board yeah. so that we could get all of our stuff in. Yeah. So we did that in a hurry. And then the angle to get out of there was really crazy. Yeah. And then the other thing is, they told us, don't leave anything in your fridge. Yeah, they said we are not we're plugging not in plugging it rig. in we don't want your batteries to die we don't want your food to to perish so don't leave anything in your fridge so we didn't we weren't doing any grocery shopping we were just kind of letting our food like a trip <laughs> just just go away we weren't Run buying out. anymore yeah and so we get here and hooked up and open the fridge and it's cold. It's cold and I'm like, well, could it have cooled down that fast? No, and stuff in the freezer was frozen. Yeah, that's when I opened the freezer and, and my pre-mixed yeah. drinks, my daiquiris, my frozen daiquiris were ice solid. And I was like, oh, oh, no, they did. Yeah. They did not plug this in. And then when I went in the bedroom to turn on the air conditioner, it was down to 70. Yeah, so. And we always leave it at 73. So I was like, oh, oh they, they had it plugged, plugged in. in. They had it plugged in. So we, we lost all of our refrigerated stuff because I have no reason, apparently. <laughs> so anyway, we're we're set up now. We're here at Thousand Treasure Orlando. Mm -hmm. We'll be here three weeks. We didn't get to film any of that because we were just in such a hurry. Well, the guy, by the time we got um, the stuff put away so we could travel again and the capture plate back on, it was closed already. The guy's sitting there at the yeah, fence waiting us. for us to pull out. And so, I don't want to rush because I don't want to break anything or tear anything up because every time I rush, yeah. I forget something and I break something. So I still, I was like, take my time. I don't care if this guy don't get home on time. <laughs> I got to make sure they don't break well, anything. Yeah. So we were pretty careful. Yeah. And then from there to here, rush hour traffic right. the entire yeah. way. It took twice as long as it probably should have, but. <laughs> the only saving grace to this afternoon was we got on the street you wanted to be on. I did. It was the last <laughs> spot on the street that I wanted to be on. Like it was saved for you. So we got that. And now um, I'm starving. Yes. It's, it's uh, 7.20. Yeah. And we normally eat around 5, 5.30. Yeah, we're old people. We eat at 5, 5.30. Yeah. So we're going to Waffle House. <laughs> we are going to Waffle House. <laughs> I got a hankering for breakfast food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the next morning. I had to go get my sunglasses, America. Um, but I wanted to go and look at this slide job that they did because when we got in last night, it was a little dark out. So um, it looks like, yeah, they put the new slide mechanism in there. So the teeth are good there. Um, see what else they did here they resealed this whole line here check the uh, mechanism on the other side yeah all new Schwintech stuff they did seal I was concerned you know some people don't seal across there because there's a gasket inside of here when we had our Montana they didn't seal at the factory right here and this gasket inside of here was faulty and water got in there and ruined the slide floor on our Montana. So now we've had the slide floor replaced on our Montana and our Alliance. Um, but the Montana was their fault and the Alliance was our fault. So um, let's get up underneath here. They did um, replace all the screws 
and resealed here so that's good i was hoping that they wouldn't put the old screws back in because if they put the old screws back in they're rusty so i wouldn't know if there's any new water intrusion so now they got new screws in there so if there is a new water intrusion those screws start rusting then i'll know that, that we'll have another water problem and then they resealed here up into there and on this side too the moral of the story is check your sealant if you check your sealant none of this will happen to you <laughs> exactly hey stick around for a few seconds we're going to honor and remember a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video we appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>